the major problems we face, everybody knows. I've been in healthcare for 25 years, and I can tell you the system is broken. We served Medicaid patients and had to give up serving Medicaid patients because of the, the incredibly broken system and the poor reimbursement rate. We simply could not afford to see the patients. Patients wind up traveling long distances to get care. We've had patients go from Martin County all the way down to Miami simply to get a broken arm set. It is incredible. The access to care is not there. The access to quality is not there. We don't have a coordinated system that improves the quality of care as well as the access to care. And we all certainly know what the budgetary restraints are and the problems we have with this system that is costing the state of Florida probably 30% of our budget this year. We cannot continue to have a system that is broken from an access perspective, from a quality perspective, and certainly from a cost perspective. We can do better, members, and this bill puts us on the march to doing better. It is going to improve the access to care for our patients dramatically. By establishing the eight regions in the state, we are going to have various managed care organizations, PSNs, accountable care organizations, that are going to give our patients the care, the coordinated quality care that they need. This is also going to allow us to improve the quality of care. We're going to have accountability in the system for the very first time where you will really know what is going on within the system. We will have performance standards. We're going to have encountered data that is going to be collected and that will really count. We're going to have an internal grievance process so that patients will know that they have, if they are not getting the quality of care or have access to the care, they will have a process to go through to deal with this. But I really, really want to address the access issue. To me, this is one of the most important things that we see in this bill. You know, Pete, we've had some criticism that uh, if the, the regions are too big, they're too small, whatever you want to say, and that you're not going to be able to have access to the providers. The managed care organizations are going to be required by contract to have adequate networks so that every patient will have a primary care provider, they will have the various specialties that are available that they need. We don't have that now. As I said, you have to travel long distances in order to have access to various specialists. Not only are we going to are those specialists going to be available, but there will be an internet site that will allow you to see who they are. You'll be able to know what the primary care providers are, who the primary care providers are. So you will know who those providers are and you will have access to them. If you live in one of those counties like Martin County that's in a shared, that kind of splits two districts, we will require that there be, that uh, the HMOs can have contracts with providers outside that specific area, not just in that area, but they can contract with other providers across those district lines so that there will be the access to care that is so necessary for our patients. And as we move forward, we're going to make sure that patients have the quality of care that they need. I think as we move forward, this bill improves access, improves quality. It's going to crack down on the fraud. We just had a debate on fraud. It's going to crack down on fraud in the system as well. It's going to provide the patients with a choice that they need. I think that we, it is time we deal with the situation. The system is broken, and this is the fix that is going to, to really make the care available, the quality care and the access to the care that patients of this state deserve.